In this lecture, we will understand the metric abbreviation and um, we also will understand the unit and unit conversion. Let's start. We have a metric abbreviation which is uh, giga, mega, kilo, and hecto and dc. I got the mega and the kilo in, uh, in uh, red because uh, we use the kilo and the mega in, uh, in the ultrasound more than the others. So uh, we need to focus on the mega and the kilo. You need to memorize, it, memorize them very well. So um, first we'll start with the giga. Giga is billion. How much is the billion? The billion is nine zeros. So we write the billion like that. Nine zeros. Uh, what about what about the mega? Uh, the mega is million. So the mega is million. How much is a million? Is six zeros. What about the kilo? Kilo is one thousand. What about the hecto? Hecto is one hundred. Hundred start with the H. Hecto start with the H. What about the DC? The DC is ten. For the DC, we use DA. One over giga, which is equal to one over a million, uh, sorry, a billion. Billion is nine zeros. This abbreviation we we'll call it nano. Another abbreviation, which is one over mega, which is equal one over million. Million is six zeros. This abbreviation we call it micro another abbreviation which is uh, one over a kilo one over a kilo is equal to one over one thousand. Also, we have one over hecto, which is one over hundred, and we also we have one over uh, DC, which will be one over ten. One over kilo or one over thousand. Uh, the abbreviation for this is milli. The abbreviation for uh, for the nano, we use the letter N for the nano. For the micro, we use this symbol for the micro. So the distance we use use meter or centimeter or millimeter meter centimeter millimeter we also can use kilometer uh, kilometer or mile or feet on the area we use meter square centimeter square Millimeter square.
for the volume we use or millimeter cubic also I want you to understand why we use here a square why we use here cubic I use here any because we measure the distance from one point to other point so it's only one line like that for the area we use a square because if we have an square and we need to calculate the area for that square we need to multiply the width by the length so for example if this is the weight and this is the, the length we need to multiply x by y so because it's two two dimension that's why we use a square in the unit for the area for the for the volume uh, for example if we have a cube like that we need to multiply the length by the width by the height so because we multiply three dimension together that's why we have uh, a cubic on the unit for the volume so it will be even cubic meter cubic centimeter cubic millimeter when we measure volume we have we measure in three dimension so that's why the unit is cubic uh, when we do an area we have a two dimension that's why it's a square when we do distance it's only one dimension that's why we we even use millimeter centimeter or a uh, kilometer or any uh, any distance uh, unit how many bottle of orange juice in one cup this is what we'll try to understand right now if we know that one bottle has 10 cups so one cup will equal to how many bottles So we know that one, if one cup has 10 bottles, that means that one cup will have 1 over 10 bottles. One over 10 equal to 0 by 1. So one cup will equal zero uh, point one bottle. We can use the same concept to uh, convert any unit we have. For example, we know that the kilometer equal to one thousand meter, and we know that the meter equal to 100 centimeter and we know that the centimeter equal to 10 millimeter so if we want to know how many how many uh, centimeter on one kilometer so we will multiply the centimeter by the 1000 so it will equal to 100,000 centimeter what about millimeter it will, we will multiply the 10 by the 10,000 so it will be 1 million The kilometer is equal to one million millimeter.
300 kilometer and we need to convert it to a meter so actually we need to know how many meter on a 300 kilometer meter is equal to 1000 1000 meter 300 times 1000 will equal to 300,000 meter what about 5 millimeter and we need to convert it to centimeter so we need to know how many centimeter in a millimeter remember we said before that we need to know how many bottles in one cup bottles which is very big centimeter which is very big or it's big and millimeter is small so this number will become small so it will become 10 we know that the centimeter have 10 millimeter centimeter have 10 millimeter so we'll divide the 5 by 10 5 by 10 equal to 0 0.5 centimeter Six millimeter equal to how many meter? We know that one meter is equal to one thousand millimeter. So six millimeter will equal to six over one thousand. So it will equal to zero point zero zero six.